Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we are going to be removing color out of my extensions. It's gonna be an interesting video. I am doing a new color remover method that I have never tried before. You guys have recommended it to me and I have also seen it like floating around. So I got these extensions when they were like white blonde and I dyed them rainbow when I had my Lunar Tides rainbow hair, which had red in it. As you guys know, I don't have red in my hair right now. And I have a Billie Eilish concert to go to at the end of March. So we need to strip out the color in these extensions and re-dye them. I have a whole separate video about these extensions and what they are, what company they're from, and all of that stuff. So I will leave a link for that video right up here for you. Of course, I have rainbow hair and these are rainbow, but the shades, and these extensions are very different from the shades that are in my hair right now. Hopefully we can get a lot of the color out of these so I'm able to dye over them. I'm not trying to get them back blonde. I just need the current color in there to fade out significantly so I'm able to re-dye them. And as you guys can see, I am wearing extensions in my hair right now. And you might be wondering like, why don't you just wear the ones you're wearing now that already match your hair? These extensions that I have in are ombre, so they don't match like the vertical pattern. So if I clip them into my hair, they do not blend at all. It's like ombre and then like my hair is not ombre, so it does not look nice at all. Also, these extensions that I'm wearing are old and have been through the ringer. So the only time I ever wear these ones is if I'm braiding them because they are so nappy and old, they don't look very nice. These ones are brand new, have only been colored with the semi-permanent color, which is not damaging. The hair color remover method I will be using today is something that you guys have suggested to me. I have also seen it floating around the internet. It is by a girl named Katie. I have no idea how to pronounce her last name. Um, it's a mix of her thing, but also I'm not doing it like to the T, so I'm not actually doing her method. But a lot of comments have said mix just bleach powder with clarifying shampoo or an anti-dandruff shampoo. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. With Katie's method, there's a lot more involved. You're supposed to add oil and you're supposed to do like vinegar and water and all this stuff. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. I'm just going to be mixing bleach powder with anti-dandruff shampoo and we're going to see what it does, if it does anything at all, and how well this method works. I've heard it works amazing to get blue hair dye out. Since I've dyed these rainbow, I have never washed them. So the pigment is very built up. I'm going to start by washing these in really hot water with dandruff shampoo to get most of the color buildup off. And then I'll go ahead with the color remover and put it on. Let's go ahead and hop over to my kitchen sink and we're gonna start washing these extensions over and over and over. Hey guys, all right, let's start this process. <laughs> So you're supposed to put one ounce of bleach powder to four ounces of dandruff shampoo. I am also adding some dish soap in here because again, I'm not following this exactly. I'm gonna tweak it to however I want to. Here is what the mixture looks like. It's very, very runny. My vlogging camera, the battery's flashing at me and it's about to die. I'm gonna try and set it up so that way you guys can see my extensions, but I'm literally just going to apply this mixture on them. I have applied the mixture to this big group right here. I'm gonna go back through and resaturate these because I really wanna give this the best chance of working as possible. So let's go back through and just re-soak this. You can see the green on this side is like fading a lot. The red is not looking very promising. It's 
I'm gonna take my Bellamy extensions and I'm gonna set them inside of a Walmart sack. I have a heating pad on the floor next to me turned on and already heated up. So I'm gonna put my extensions in a Walmart sack, set it on top of the heating pad, and it's also up against the wall where the hot air is blowing out. So having it in the bag will help it keep its moisture, but it also will heat it up, so that way it activates the process a little bit faster. I have the extensions on the heating pad with a blanket on top. I'm gonna let them sit for 45 minutes. Then I'll wash and deep condition them and I will see you guys on a different day because this has taken me literally all day to do. All right, I am back. It is a couple days later. I just let my extensions air dry. So let me show you what they look like. It worked way better than I thought it was going to. Some of them, like this piece is still very red, but let me break these apart and show you what they look like weft by weft. I was actually so shocked at how well that treatment worked and it didn't make my extensions feel dry or damaged at all. So. Here is what one of the extensions looks like now. You can see it actually took out a lot of the color. Like it did a really good job at getting the green and blue out. This one was yellow and green and blue and it did a very very good job on camera i feel like you can't tell as much as in person but it really helped fade and strip the color a lot i feel like this method would work the best if your hair is already faded a lot and you're just trying to like get the remainder of the color out i feel like this method would be amazing for that i had a lot of color buildup on my extensions so i think it did a good job removing color for how much pigment was in these extensions they were very bright and neon before and now they're kind of just just like muted and dull. I would definitely give this a try if you're thinking about fading out your hair color or you're trying to remove hair color. So that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it trying a new hair color remover method. I actually liked it. It was a success. I am going to try color oops next on these extensions. So stay tuned for that video. We'll see what color oops does with all of these different shades of color in here don't forget to check out my instagram the link to that will be in the description down below i post way more of my everyday life on there give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i love you guys so much and until next time guys stay weird